Big dogs live in small yards. Tonight is a battle of backwoods giants. This is the biggest game of the year for us. This, this is for bragging rights around Tanksville Parish. A meet travels to Independence for an annual dogfight at Tiger Stadium. Two towns have always, always have good football. We really, it's just so intense when we play each other. I mean, we talk trash to each other, we run our mouths, we make each other mad. You know, and it all comes down to these 48 minutes. I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. The Tigers and the Warriors both bring undefeated records to the pen. Independence is averaging more than 50 points of starts. I can plow a field all day long. I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn. The lead hound is LeBrandon Tofield. He leads the state in scoring with 19 touchdowns this season. Too many things these old boys can't do. This is the classic fall hunt for bragging rights. If you can't run with the big dogs tonight, stay on the porch. Country folks can survive. Country boy can survive. Country folks can Friday night football. Well, we can't afford to stay on the porch. We got to work tonight, huh? Tell you, man. Got to go to work is right. <laughs> All right, tonight we top our coverage with possibly, as you saw earlier, the best rivalry in the state, Amy's at Independence. The Sioux schools separated by a mere five miles. The game taking on an even greater significance as Independence is ranked three or second in three A, and Amy is ranked. Uh, third so that's a, this is an awfully big rivalry. Well, I can tell you this Baglio is going to breathe easy for another year so uh, he's going to be doing okay maybe we'll get an invite to the Italian festival up there with him this time. <laughs> <laughs> well they expected over 6,000 but don't tell that to the fire marshal. I think they had a, a few more tonight. They always do in independence and here it is in the third quarter 10-7 Tigers looking for more and Tron Sieber is going to throw for a nice 20-yard gain to Vinny Albrecht. And here we're going to see three plays later, the Tigers will score. This time, Siebert 12 yards to Quentin Weatherford. 17 second, 17-7, Tigers at that point. Amy T helps the Warriors come back. They get after Mr. Siebert, and they finally chase him and chase him and chase him and get him out of bounds at the three. It counts as a sack in the NFL, at least. And then after a punt, two plays later, Amy's going to score. Branton Wagner finds Adrian Harris 45 yards. It's a touchdown. But the PAT is not going to be good. It was 17-13. We go to the fourth quarter. The Tigers wrap this one up. Sieber, 36 yards to Rod Williams. They caught him on the slant, and he did the rest. Did number 32 into the end zone. They made it 23-13. It ended 30-19. to Independence over Amy. West St. John won at Riverside, and St. James at home, at home over Flackman by 30. Now to Central Lafouche. Taking its undefeated record into Desperhan. In the third quarter, it's 35-11, but Kerry Wilson is going to run here for Desperhan, 17 yards deep into the Trojan territory. And then we're going to see Wilson run it now for 11 yards. Going to get inside the 15-yard line. I tell you, they had a great night moving the football. And three plays later, it's going to be Mitchell Jones. Runs it in six yards out for the score. Conversion no good, but it's 41-11 Desperhan. Central tries to get something going there. Running back, Russell Robinson. Big game, but he loses the ball. Desperhan will recover. Those turnovers will kill you. Wildcat defense again up big. It's 95, Wilson Bauer. The stop for a one-yard loss. Desperhan looks to be playing very confidently after beating Honville last week. They beat Central tonight by 30. Honville rebounds. They beat Thibodeau by 16. South Lafouche over Terrebonne. 36 to 14. Now the HL Bourgeois, the Braves, and East St. John. And here, here we're going to see the Braves strike first. Number 11, Sean Christmas runs 22 yards for a nice game. In third and six, Braves quarterback Kent Setazal is going to be sacked by 99. Travis Cook kills the Bourgeois drive early in the contest. Wildcats attempt to respond. Juan Reese runs for a tough five yards. They finally wrap him up. 
Then Kerry Watkins will get it for 15. On the reverse, he may one day be in the National League playoffs. This guy's quite a pitcher. Into bourgeois territory on that play. Then they give it to Reese. He scores from 11 yards out. That cut the lead for the Braves down to 10-7. And East St. John is on its way in a high-scoring game, 48-24. to Lutcher won at Vanderbilt by 7. Donaldsonville down at E.D. White beat the Cardinals by 3. Moving on, Coach to Ponchatoula and Covington, the homecoming queen. Beautiful lady by the name of Natalie Jenkins. And the big defense was dominant tonight in the first half. Henry Lenora with the sack for Covington. Scoreless tie at the half. Second half, the Lions take advantage of a special teams mistake by Ponchatoula. They kick it right into the back of the up back, and that was a big play in the game. That'll kill you. Well, field position. Here we're going to see the first points in the half. It's going to be a 37-yard field goal by John Marino. 3-0 Covington. If Covington goes to the full house backfield. you got to watch this. 750 pounds pounding down the field. Here they come to the 215-pound Trey Riles, pumping it in all the way down the field. Riles takes it in for the TD. And that made it. A 19-0 final for Covington. Ponchatoula was unbeaten, but Allie Smith's team comes up big tonight. Salmon beat Fountain Blue by 25, and it was Slidell winning at Mandeville easily by 28. Battle of Magnet Schools, it was McMain and Carr tonight. This was a good ball game. McMain's Uncle Rocco Gilbert intercepts the Cougar pass, and he returns it. For about seven, they finally shove him out of bounds. That sets up Sean Brown, who's a good quarterback. He is a good quarterback, can throw in, run. Here we're going to see him take it for 23 yards. A nice scamper, put moves on people, brings it all the way down into the two-yard line. The next play, we're going to see Nero Courtney score from one yard out, 7-7 seven, seven tie. Now, let's go to the last play of regulation. Of course, the game went into overtime. It was tied at seven. McMain tries a little handoff there, but... Carr's defense answered the call, and the Cougars come up with a big win in overtime at Pan Am, 13 to 7. Eunice beat Perry Walker, 45 to 12, and it was Boothville Venice over Ecole Classic, 43 to 7. Now to St. Aug at Holy Cross, Tony Viegas in a heck of a dog fight tonight with the Tigers. Tigers going to go in, draw first blood. John Drake two yards out, seven nothing Holy Cross. Aug comes back though. Their quarterback Michael White on a little play action fake. It's Theodore Bush for 85 yards. They've had those big plays in the book for a long time. Nemesis Bates used to do that. He's now an LSU Tiger. The Tigers 